Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing a full face of Gucci, um, and we're going to jump right in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been with me, thank you. And if you don't like me or my videos, please don't fucking watch me. I'm Nervous Cup of Tea, and I'm super okay with it. Alright, so I'm going to play with these Gucci palettes today. I'm probably going to use a little bit of each. They come in these little bags, little luxury. Looks like that. And this bottom part, or this comes out, and it can be used as something else, but this is the actual little palette. So that is the first one that ever came out. And then this one just recently came out. She is beautiful. I didn't get my lipstick yet uh, that I ordered with this that matches this, but it'll be here soon, I think. And then that's those. So they're kind of similar colors, but like one's a lighter version and a darker version of each other, I think. So we are going to, I already did my um, brows. I did them very normal today. I didn't like do a lot to them. I just filled in my tail a little bit. Um, yeah, and that's how my brows usually look with not a lot of product in them. I just kind of deepen the tail a little bit. And I prime my eyelids with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I'm gonna take a tiny little bit of this La Mer the eye concentrate and stick it under my eyes while we are working on the eyes just to let that set in and I did my skincare already so I love this stuff it's so good so good and I just use a tiny bit especially under makeup you don't want to glob a bunch on I do like a full routine at night um, so my daytime skincare is a little different, especially if I'm going to do makeup. So um, on my skin, I used um, some fresh rose water toner. And then I used this Violences. I can never say it right. Um, this is a squalene vitamin C and rose oil. So I put that on. And I got that setting in my skin with a little La Mer eye cream. And then... I'm gonna end up using this Gucci primer. It's a serum primer. And it is, I swear to God, a knockoff for the Sicily $200 primer. I mean, this is still pretty spensy. It's like 60 bucks or something like that, but it lasts forever. It's it's a heavy bitch. It could be used as a weapon. So um, yeah, I'm gonna put that on real quick and then we're gonna start with the eyes. They have a matte version of this. Um, I haven't tried it because I don't usually use a lot of matte stuff anymore. Um, but this, I swear it's a knockoff, or not a knockoff, but like a dupe. Mm, it smells good. So we're just gonna go hydrated and shiny today. Ooh, okay, if you hear my air conditioner in the back, I am the type of bitch that uses an air conditioner still in winter. I just like the fresh air coming in. And they keep my room kind of cold so all right so i'm going to use this second palette that just came out what are the names i have no idea how to pronounce that palais beauté des ux it's the gorgeous flora and then this one is called just flora or floral so we're going to start with this one and i think i'm gonna do Let's see if I can do this without drama. I'm going to use this one, this one, and maybe this one. And then I'll show you the other color I'm going to use out of the other palette. And we're going to jump in pretty quick. And get my little life together here and find all the brushes. I probably should start going through my brushes before I start doing videos and getting them separated and what I'm going to need. But <laughs> I can't be bothered. All right, let's jump in. I'm just going to start with this lighter shade. I haven't used these, I don't think, have I? I think I used the other one, but I haven't used this new one yet. So we're just going to put that in our little crease. I wanted to use the like corally pink colors in here, um, but I just, I didn't. I'm not. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't look like the first video I did and end up being like the same type of look. But these are just the colors I'm into right now. I want to start doing more fall looks, so hopefully I can get into that soon these have just been kind of easy little looks so i can get the hang of stuff again 
I wanted to say also thank you to everybody who came and said hi to me on my live stream the other night. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys, and I've missed you guys terribly. Um, the thing with higher-end luxury um, eyeshadows is they aren't overly pigmented, and they're more flattering on skin, more skin types, so um, they don't have a ton, a ton, a ton of pigment. And they're kind of, they're meant that way, you know what I mean? So, um, buyer beware, you know, if you're looking for something over the top eyeshadow, this probably isn't going to be it. These are more just gentle colors. I'm going to go in with a different brush and grab that so I can spread it out just a little bit more. A little easier, there we go. That other brush was stiff. I think I used it for my cream eyeshadow the other day. And you might hear noise in the background. My daughter-in-law is home. She's cleaning, doing dishes, and probably getting dinner ready and stuff. So it's kind of a nice thing about living with, you know, other girls is that they help out with all the cooking and cleaning and stuff. So very lucky. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go into, I think this one has a more pinkier tone. Or this one, I'm not quite sure. Let me swatch them real quick to see which one's darker. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna go into this browner looking shade. Just stick that a little bit below to deepen my crease a little bit. I'm always drawn to the same type of colors and palettes. It's like a curse. I was into like really colorful looks. I'm gonna go into this other shade and just put a little bit. I don't want it to get muddy. I'm just going to stick a little bit of that on my outer bits. Um, I used to do really colorful looks, and I probably will come back to that, but I just have been doing more, I don't know, older style looks, I guess, or more neutralier looks lately. So, if you guys want to see colorful looks, let me know below. I'd be happy to do some. I kind of did like every color in the rainbow <laughs> when I first started my channel, so it was, you know, I kind of wanted to do some something different this time. Ah, I hear my granddaughter's up from her nap. You might hear her in the background. It's a little cuteness. <laughs> I love her so much. I had to tell her I wasn't going to see her for a little bit because I was going to come in here and do my stuff and then she went and took a nap. So I have a mirror behind my camera. So if you see me looking up that way, that is why. Yeah, very subtle. And then I think I'm going to do this other palette and I am going to go into this. It's just driving me crazy. I have to use it. Um, this silvery kind of what would I say? Almost like a pewter shade. And then I might use this other one in the outer and then I might do a little bit of black. So we're going to, actually I might stick the black in now just, just to see where I want to place everything. <laughs> Every time I say something, I like end up changing my mind right away. I'm doing something totally opposite of what I just said I was going to do. I've had so many surgeries and I think that it's starting to affect like my like mental health and like I mean having trouble with my memory a lot and stuff. Uh oh what I do. Oops. Um, I, I'm going to always have to have surgeries and stuff. Oh I don't know how I feel about it but I just notice I'm starting to have trouble remembering things and I repeat myself a lot. And um, my grandma and my mom both had early onset dementia. And I think my grandma had actually had onset Alzheimer's. So I am a little nervous for that. I don't know if it's hereditary or not. I think it actually might be. Is that what I'm gonna do? Just a little something. This one, this eye looks different. I think it might be my lighting. They look more similar though in real life. Yeah, they actually look better in real life than they do on camera. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Do something like that. 
And then I'm going to take this beautiful, beautiful shimmer. I'm going to go in dry and see how it goes and see how it spreads. And then we'll see if we need to wet it. Oh, it's like a silvery, silver color. Okay. I can dig it. <laughs> um, I was thinking about asking you guys if you wanted me to do uh, the next full face of makeup. I think I might do, um, let's see, I think I might do Fenty or Huda or Hourglass or Charlotte Tilbury. Um, if you guys want to let me know in the comment section below which one you guys would want to see a full face first. Will you do that for me and let me know? I ask a lot and then I don't get a lot of responses. So I kind of just go with what I want to do. But I want to start asking to see if people, you know, even care. So this is going to be super easy and light today. We are not doing anything. I have an MRI and x-rays and all this shit next week. So but in Oregon, you still have to wear a mask in hospitals and stuff, so there's no point in even doing makeup. I need a different mirror, this one's driving me crazy. It's not what I need. There we go, that'll be better. Okay, let me see. I need to move some stuff around. My kitchen is on the other side of this wall, so if you hear a lot of noise, my apologies. Okay, I like that, and I'm gonna go into this little I don't even know what kind of shade this is. I'm going to put that right between the black. It's like a light purpley color. Put that between the black and the silver just to kind of blend them so that it's not so stark. See, I don't think my videos are as good as they used to be. I think my videos were way better before, but I just got to find my groove again. I'll feel more comfortable, I guess. Yeah, these are very pretty, but they're very subtle. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like they don't allow you to go out of control, which, you know, for some people that can be really nice. So I guess it's your preference on what you like. Okay, I think that is, maybe I'll go in with my finger. Just, let's just see what happens. I actually have this Huda thing that I got a while back and it's supposed to pick up of course not. I'm looking for it. I won't be able to find it. Um, it. It's supposed to pick up everything really like shimmers and stuff. I don't know if I want to use this or not. Maybe a little. Let's see. I haven't used it often. I don't use it often. So, Oh yeah, my Mac. My Mac brush picked it up way better. Never mind. Scratch that idea. Alright, I am going to take just a light little bit on my finger. Do the little finger blend. Okay. This is like a, I thought it was more of a pewter color, but it's got a kind of a deeper gray color. I'm so great at describing stuff, huh? <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna go into that purpley shade and just blend those two. all right and then I think I'm going to go in with the first brush or second brush I went in with and I'm not going to put a lot of black back in there I'm just going to kind of leave it but I am going to go into the very first color that I dipped into for my transition just go around that a little bit my dog is on the verge of barking Zuko you better not buddy Come on, I let you stay in here with me. It's just MJ and baby girl. So don't get crazy, okay? You can hear that it's them. Chill out. Uh-oh. Hold on. Okay, I think he's going to be okay. We'll see. He's ready to pop off at any moment. Okay, so that's the eyes. Um, kind of boring and basic. I have not done eyeshadow in so long, I'm telling you. I have been doing these shadow sticks, which I just like a lot more. But we'll get the hang of it again, right? Also, I use this Gucci brow pencil just to do the tails on my brow. I need to get it on my way, but I thought I'd let you guys know that. Okay, I'm going to use, so a lot of this is from the Lobscore. I can't say it right, but 
uh, Lob Obscure. I don't even know if you guys will be able to see that. But uh, this is, you know, she's got a, they, she, whatever. They got the, these two go together. This is like mascara, liquid, and coal. Um, okay, thanks, sir. Calm down. <laughs> My dog's got me all riled. I'm like, Zuko, stop. <laughs> right, I'm just going to go in some eyeliner real quick. But um, for those Gucci palettes, if you're somebody that just wants kind of, I don't know what to say. How do I say it? More flattering eyeshadows and not overly pigmented, but they do the trick. Um, I would recommend those. I also They're very similar to the Dior and the Chanel um, eyeshadows. I think my husband just got home. My dogs are going to be very excited to see him, so they'll probably pop off again. Yeah, we're just going to do a light little line there. Um, One sec. In my last video, my live stream, I was going to show you these Chanel eyeshadow palettes. Um, this one is blurry gray. I have a bunch of these, but I have these couple sitting on my little thing real close to me. This one is Blurry Mauve. And these are a lot more affordable than the Gucci ones. The Gucci ones are like $152, and these ones I think are about $62. And this one is Claire Obscure. So, what is up with... And these must be like French names, right? What is up with all these like Lascule? No offense if you're French, I'm really trying to be disrespectful disrespectful but yeah I was going to show you those in my last video those are pretty good little palettes too they're very similar Dior Gucci and Chanel have very similar eyeshadow quality all right I'm going to go in with a cold liner and just do the top I use the shit out of this this is like one of my favorite uh cold liners it stays in place very well <laughs> and it lasts quite a bit longer than some of my other ones. All right, let's do some mascara. I'm just gonna do a light little coat. I don't do anything heavy when I'm wearing lashes. I just need it to blend with my lashes. Okay, is that a goat? Sorry if this clanking gets on your nerves. It gets on my nerves as well. <laughs> All right, so let's move into found. Oh, I need to do my lashes. I think I'm gonna go do my lashes off uh, camera real quick and I'll be right back. Oh shit, I'm all messed up. <laughs> I had a visitor come in <laughs> while I was getting my lashes ready. You wanna say hi? Uh. Yeah, you wanna touch Grandma's stuff, huh? She likes all my makeup. You say hi? Look, can you say hi? Say hi. Say hi, beautiful girl. Who's that beautiful girl? Where'd Grandpa go? Uh oh. There he is, just making pizzas at you, huh? <laughs> you blow a kiss? Blow him a kiss. You gonna blow him a kiss? Oh, you're so sweet. Can I love, can I give you loves? Mm, I love you. I know, Grandma's gonna get some makeup together for you so you can play with it soon, okay? I know everything, I know. All of it, huh? All right, I love you. I'll be right back, guys, hold on. All right, y'all, you might hear a crying baby in the background. She's not happy that she had to leave me. <laughs> she wanted to stay here and play. So um, I'm picking off some of this glue on my lashes, and then I'm going to stick them on, and I'll be right back. I don't know. I just unpaused to tell you that, but I'll be right back. All right, lashes are on. I use Girl Boss by Tarte, and the baby has stopped crying. I had to pause for a few minutes. Grandpa saved the day and came through. <laughs> she was not happy. She wanted to come in here with Grandma and hang out. Oh. I'm going to have to go do something special with her when I get done. Okay, so that is done. Let's start with the Gucci foundation. Um, I think they have a matte version of this too. You know, I honestly cannot pronounce the names of this shit. Fluid de Beauté Natural Finish Fluid Foundation. So, 
I actually shook this up already because it takes me a long time. So let's get, I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand. Get this put on. The only thing I can't find is my concealer, so I'm gonna use a different one. I have so much makeup and trying to go through it all is ridiculous. I literally get lost and sidetracked. I'll like see something I haven't seen in a while and I gotta swatch it and play with it. Could be in here for hours, just messing with makeup, not even doing makeup, but just like going through it and looking at it and organizing it. It's ridiculous. I definitely have a real addiction to makeup and I don't encourage it. It's a very, I mean, I guess heroin and other drugs would probably be more expensive, but this reminds me of like a problem. Like I have a problem <laughs> and I don't do drugs or alcohol. So I guess this is my drug. All right, we are going to spread this out. This is a very beautiful foundation. Again, a lot of these are very skin-like. Um, and they come with serums and stuff. That's why they're so expensive. I haven't looked at drugstore makeup in a long time. But last time I was looking, you know, I was at Ulta. And I was just kind of going through a drugstore side. Just kind of peeking to see what was new and stuff. If anything, like, tickled my fancy. And the prices on that shit is crazy. Like, you might as well just spend a few bucks more and get some name brand shit, you know? Some, like, higher end prestige or whatever you want to call it. It's ridiculous. I couldn't believe some of the prices. I was like, for $10 or $5 more, you can go get way better quality and ingredients. But it's that's just how I do makeup. That's not for everybody. And I know not everybody, you know, has the funds to do that kind of shit, but... If I were going to buy drugstore makeup, I don't even know what brand I would try because I just don't like the ingredients. And I don't like the way it makes my skin freak out. It's like my skin is just not happy with that. Oh, she's knocking on my door. I hear you, sissy. I'll be out soon, okay? I'm hurrying. I come play with you soon. All right. <laughs> She's not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> she hears me in here. Okay, so I got these two new concealers. I think I'm going to try one of them. I got the Born This Way Ethereal Light. Uh, this is an illuminating and smoothing concealer. And then I got the new Charlotte Tilbury Radiant Concealer. And I heard they're both very similar. And I have not... I want to do one side by side, but I'm not going to do that in this video. Oh God, what's all over me? Baby crumbs. Oh yeah, baby crumbs. She gave me a hug. I think she had cheesies in her hand. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with mm, the Charlotte Tilbury one. So this is the only non-Gucci product that I'm going to use. We'll see how, how she does. Okay. I got the mirror behind here, so. <laughs> well, it's not terrible. Oh. It doesn't seem like these have a ton of coverage, but I don't really have dark, dark circles. Um, so I don't mind that. But if you're looking for a full coverage one, that's not it. I mean, it does the job, though. It's not terrible. I'm going to push the rest of this in, too, just so it don't feel so heavy. It doesn't, but I put a lot on. <laughs> it normally doesn't feel heavy. Okay. And I'm going to skip cream products today. I'm kind of more in a hurry now to get done so I can go hang out with baby. So I'm going to set my under eyes before they crease. 
I can do this without shaking. <laughs> my hands have been so shaky, shaky lately. It's crazy. I hate it. I hate it. I'm just going to stick a little bit under here before it creases. Too bad. <laughs> oh, thank God for Grandpa. He's saving the day. He's making her happy. It's usually me or Grandpa or Mom or Dad. That's kind of how she is. She loves, she, I mean, we're very lucky to live with her, but she's our best little friend. Oh, that looks so, so much light, but I look like uncooked chicken. So once I darken everything up, it'll be better. Okay, and I'm gonna set the rest of my face with this pressed powder. This will close for me. Hands are not doing well. Oh, they're gonna bark, hold on. Ugh, dog's driving me crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna use this pressed powder. This is literally like an instant blur for your pores. I'm telling you, this powder is incredible. It's like one of my favorite, favorite powders. I'm addicted to it. I was gonna order another backup one uh, before the Sephora sale ended and then I completely forgot to put it in my cart. There's a little way to hold this, it'd be much easier, but you can't do anything easy. So I just barely tap it and enough comes up to set everything. I know people swirl it and rub it, but you don't have to. This is such a beautiful powder. Okay, and then we are powdered. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with my Gucci bronzer. So I use four for contour and I use three for bronzer. We're gonna do that. Do that, do that. Um, brushes, thank you. Alright. These are really pigmented bronzers, so I highly recommend the Gucci bronzer. It has become a fave. <laughs> I use it. I use it even when I'm not just using Gucci makeup, but with my other products. Um, yeah, so at the beginning of the video, I had said, I don't know if you're just coming on watching or if you've made it through this whole part, but, um, you know, let me know if you guys want to see a full face of Hourglass, Charlotte Tilbury, um, Fenty Beauty, or Huda. If you guys could let me know in the comment section, I will, my next full face I will do, I'll do one of those. If nobody picks, then I'll just pick myself, but. My hair is crazy, I need to, it's wash day. I'm gonna wash my hair tonight. And then I'm gonna take number four, it's a little bit deeper, and I'm just gonna go right here on the little, right there oh it looks orange to you guys but it's actually a little more cool toned mm, it's okay I have to remember that that not everything looks the same on camera as in real life so I'm just gonna take the leftover chisel me a little jawline that I do not have on my own <laughs> fat girl problems all right, and then I'm going to take this Gucci blush. This one actually has a name. It's Bright Coral. I love the packaging on this stuff. It is just A+. plus. Oh, this one's hard to open. I don't know if I can get it open with my hands. Shit, pause, I gotta open it. Jeez, I forgot there's an easy way to open it. So I'm gonna use this one. This is, what was it called? Bright Coral. Love this blush. Oh, the Gucci blushes are beautiful. I never thought I would be one to put blush over my nose, but here we are. I think it helps my nose not get lost in my face because I don't have a lot of color to my skin. I envy people who do. I just can't be in the sun, so I will forever remain uncooked chicken. I like to bring that up kind of high. 
put a little up here, a little around the face. So we don't look so pale. Okay. I could just keep putting more more on. I'm addicted to blush. I got a problem. I need a rehab. I need a rehab. Okay, so I'm going to spray with a little Mac Fix Plus real quick. And then I'm, at the end, I'm going to use this uh, Gucci Beauty Spray. Ooh. Take a shower in it. Use a little fan real quick. I like to do that so that it doesn't set my wrinkles. Make a weird face. <laughs> okay. That is taking too long. Just gonna get a good old fan out. My granddaughters played with those so much I think they're a little warped. They're not doing the trick anymore. Okay. And then I am going to do some highlighter and we're going to finish these under eyes real quick. I think I got a couple lipsticks. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use for this look, but I know this looks similar to what I did, like my first video coming back. Um, but this is the colors I was drawn to in the palette, so I can't tell a bit sorry. my blush and see in real life it's so much more brighter I think it's because I have my lights turned up but yeah in real life it's beautifully coral you guys can't see it though yeah that's okay all right so I'm gonna finish the under eyes I think I am going to what I want to do I think I'm just going to do a light color. I think I might just do this shade uh, on my lower lash line and then this a little bit deeper one on the outer corner. If I can find my brushes quickly. I usually like to use a... Um, stick eyeshadow for under my eyes but today we're just going to finish off with this like this you really can't even see it huh that's okay it's there you just have to trust me and then i'm going to use ah, i have way too many brushes i have a problem these i have these brushes are my main brushes and then i have this giant one full of brushes. It's, I have issues. I have a lot of issues. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna, yeah, just mix these two. Put that on my outer bits. Try to connect it to the top. I have weird shaped eyes. Um, I have two scars right here which make my eyebrow different than this one and my eye shape different than this one um, I, there's nothing I can do about it I just have learned to live with it we'll just keep putting color under there till I feel happy about it there we go okay and I think um because I can't help myself I'm gonna take a tiny bit of this black from the other palette just a tiny bit put that on the outer bit yeah Yeah, I'm gonna call that good. And then I am going to take that same cold liner and put it on my lower lash line. to spray my face with this Gucci Beauty spray. 
Ready to do my mascara. Mm. It smells so good. Dude, I'm addicted to these smells. And I don't even like somebody, I'm somebody that doesn't even like fragrance and shit. But I like the smell of higher end makeup. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to use that Gucci mascara real quick. And do my under eye lashes. Is that what it's called? Oh my god, I don't even want what they're going to make for dinner. I want Chinese food or Jersey Mike's. I might go get myself something separate to eat. I can finally drive and do things like a grown-up again, so... It's nice to have my hands back working. Okay. Here we go. Mm. Let that dry for a minute. It's a little bit juicy. Okay, and then I am going to take this Ulfra palette that I use for my inner corners. Inner corner highlight. I just like it. I can't help it. It brightens up everything. Look at that. I think it's Frosted Donut. Oh, Glazed Donut by Nikki with Nikki Tutorials, that collab that they did. I freaking love it. Love it. And then I'm going to put a little bit here on my brow bone kind of cleans everything up I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose because I can't help it okay heck did I blinked before it was dried and it transferred I kind of like that mascara but it's not my favorite all right I'm gonna use my Gucci lip liner and then I have this shade I think I'm gonna end up going with this one though this is a liquid lip. It's pretty good. I don't hate it, but um, I think I'm going to use my bullet. I'm not a big lipstick person. All right. Oops. What, shade, what color is this? They usually have like girl names. Something sand. I can't read it. Sorry, guys. Okay. Shoot. That's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to leave my hair because it's hair washing day. So this is my final look. Um, thank you guys for watching and being here with me. And I will see you guys soon. Um, stay safe and be blessed. Peace.